Okay, I'm gonna try and start the uh, Dodge limo. When was the last time you ran it? When we backed it in here last year sometime. Okay. Uh, is it the spring you bought it? I can't remember. I think it was super warm out. Yeah. Then, yeah, backed it in here as soon as we had it running. Probably lift oh, it off am by I himself. pinch hitting for somebody? Am I subbing in? Uh, yeah, right. You're technically not on this team. Yeah, that's right. We'll just we'll fake the footage. All right. Just put uh, Justin's face over top of Justin. <laughs> so I'm trying to get that over there. You're, You're obviously not concerned. Hang on here. No, no, no. That's D dash. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's try. Let's, Let's do a dry see. lift. Okay. Oh, hang on. I got nothing here. You got anything? No, I got nothing here. I yeah, got we got nothing. So we need somebody to slide, and Pete and I will just rock it back. Ready? One, two, three. Uh, well, it's kind of got to go there until... Yeah, we can... Okay. Yeah, once we're under here. Oh. Okay. Heavy? A bit heavy, yeah. Well, it's just... Right. The trouble is that we're yeah 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 yeah. We got to move it ahead. Got fucking running boards here. Okay. What can I do? No, do? I don't know. Let's just get it over the handle and set it down. There you go. Okay. Okay. Sir, yeah. there. Okay. All right. All right. Where are we going? Just on the ground? Yeah. There. Come on. Okay. Let me get this. Yeah. Can't go much higher. Okay, all's off. It is off. No 
farm done. Is these pack free? Yeah. Really? really? Yeah. It's on the or you can buy them as a kit. Hmm. Some of them are still stuck in the car. Better off, no problems. Oh, okay, there's your starter. Yeah, yeah. no, I agree. That could have been worse. Yeah. They didn't give you any extra battery cable back then, did no. they? No. <laughs> you don't want to have too much of that stuff. Oh, Henry was keeping track. Yeah. yeah. They sent an email down to the guy <laughs> right. that's, on the line. That's half inch, yeah. not three eighths half. of an inch, Mike. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but a lot of it's really just cleaning and painting now. And we'll get a whole new exhaust system. You buy those. And I love the nut. It's like it's yeah. Just a yeah, it literally just screws on. Yeah. yeah. Look at the transmission bell housing. And it's like, been what? manipulated before. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, it's either on a trailer or the worst dragster project you've ever seen. <clears throat> I would say the worst. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Pull the chute! Yeah. I'll put it in there with some big tires beside it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Rock solid. Gonna need a little love. I gotta know if there's a drip rail that goes here. Do you guys think? I'm starting to wonder. It kind of looks like, like this. Yeah, would tie it goes into there, right? but that should it be in. here? Does it? If it does, then you know what? we are the missing a drip nails. rail. Yeah. yeah. So we're our, missing our the drip rail. Yeah. yeah, you're missing drip rail. It's nothing we can't handle. That's it's, all. That's all. Scott, when you're that's this age, you'll need some panel anything. repair too. Oh yeah. I'll be uh, getting wheeled around on a cart like this, with yeah. bits falling off. <laughs> so where's the metal flake gonna go? Right. Right. <laughs> I was just, just saying. Just crazy custom <sighs> wants to question. <sighs> oh man. We got oh, a big right here. We got a big gross, gross fat wheel stick, stick here. here. Yeah, yeah. Should we? Absolutely. I've got the I perfect one. one. You, you know where it is. Yeah, it's yeah. in. Oh yeah, all right. I don't need it. I don't need it one bit. That's why you need two. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why you need two, buddy. Just to build an old 60s style tall T, eh? It is funny that this is how projects start. Eh? Uh, this has zero percent chance, you yeah. Are you shitting me? Zero. Oh yeah, that looks pretty fucking badass. Yeah. You got a shifter hiding in this fucking <laughs> A shift. Oh, you do. <laughs> you do. I got an old Hearst four banger in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our chance. To, we could put the Tom six cylinder motor in there. Eh? Oh my God! <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look right. what happened to my team. <laughs> <laughs> Plan B. I was, I was, looking, I left him alone for I, ten yeah, minutes. I was like, I leave Look for twenty minutes with team. Kyle and Al here. I come back and it's a big daddy fucking show rod from the seventies. I love it. It's Saturday afternoon, and if you're watching this. We're still alive. I don't sorry know. Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're sorry to hear. Speaking Can of, we uh, tell you to get a life? What else are we doing? It looks like it's time to take this giant Holly carburetor off of the Dean machine here. Uh, giant? This is the minimum. This, this, is, this is as small a carburetor as you ever put on a car. On the table, eh? <laughs> uh, Miles is here because why would Dean be here? <laughs> what do we got? Everything looks pretty pretty standard stuff it's a square yeah. bore and we got square any numbers bore. It's probably full there's of already gas. no there's already no gas in it at all oh it all leaked it out. all leaked, yeah, out. It leaked out oh there you go a there, little bit some we get a okay. little bit there and here this is e 781 eddb that that's the one i think is list 1483 that 1483 sounds like something yeah now what's this here is that would something missing because there's one No, here, they're both does. the same. So but this would be that? for four corners uh, idle circuit. Right. But they only used the two and so they didn't plugged? drill out the others. Oh, yeah. it's not even drilled. Okay, yeah, that it's not drilled sense. out. It's All right. So just both idles on the sides are the front? same. Just idles through the front primaries. Okay. Okay. Well, that's yeah. good news. I think the next thing to do is put some protective, uh, let's not drop any bolts down the intake right. tape over top of there. Because so far we've got a good engine. Yeah, no, it, uh, I'm really happy that the engine is good. We got her up on stands, towels, man. so it's time to rip the wheels off and tear into the brakes, and we're going to rip all the 
Well, we're going to see about uh, draining the antifreeze if there is any. And if there is, we're going to drain that. And then we, I think we should pull the water pump off, all the all the hoses. You know, just tear down. It's tear down day. What you doing outside there, Tony Dog? You waiting for Uncle Dean to come over? Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Radiator. What, how many days is this? 14? Oh, yeah. Day 33. Radiator is <laughs> up. Okay, try and keep it tipped back so we don't do too much of this. Yeah, here, there oh, we go. Oh, look, it's you. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Maybe on top of the car there? look? What do you think? If you want to bring it over here. Uh, look at that. That'll be fine. She's got a little bit of mud. Like maybe it lived gravel road yeah, a bit. Yeah, we'll probably... Uh, a little pressure wash. Give that a clean. But look, it's not all green. No, true enough. Right? Yeah. No, no, no. I don't, I don't see any okay signs of leakage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. We'll be okay with that. Okay, good. Okay. All right. So what was the goal here? To change the water pump? Well, remove the water pump. Just get out of her. Right. Half okay, inch wrench. Okay, water pump now. We can do that with a ratchet, probably. Easy Who uses a ratchet? Come on. Yeah. We've got this nice Philistine. box end wrench in here. Yeah, you're not allowed to touch the car because right. you're on Model T yeah. team. As soon as we get this whole shit done, we go work on the real car. <laughs> oh, it's okay. pretty bulgy, hey? He is pretty tired, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Dean would drive on that. Yes. Poor Dean, we're just giving him such a hard time. Well, he should be here defending himself. He should be himself. here defending himself. Yeah, he should. I think he's on his way. Been texting me. Oh, is that right? Good. Pretty reasonable condition. It's just filthy. Like we gotta clean all that up. You don't take a car for safety inspection with all this stuff looking like that. It looks like no, you've never you're right. done nothing. You're right. Dean wants it quiet, so Some we get two. We we'll get two quiet mufflers. Flow masters. On Whatever the quietest stock grandpa mufflers. That's what he'll want. Oh, well, we can't do that. It's still gotta have a little chop. Well, it's not going to have any chop. It's just a little chop. Only if the cam is worn, it'll have chop. Yeah, we'll pull a plug wire if off. If it's got a, yeah, a broken <laughs> rocker arm, she'll have a little, <laughs> have a little chop to her. <laughs> <laughs> Let me add her. The fuck's going on? <laughs> How the hell are you? What's up, brother? Where you been? Fucking on rooftops. Oh, on rooftops. Oh, yeah, just on Getting the some pipes. Little. Hey, just tan. Nice. How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Good, you? Yeah. Cheers. Oh, we're just fucking around. Same old. You Thanks, know. man. Thanks for coming over. Oh, hi. I'm fucking dirty. Perfect. He doesn't care. <laughs> <See you. laughs> unreal, right? This is crazy. Isn't that unreal? This is a dream. Isn't it great? What like, the front and rear seat. That's amazing. Yeah. Holy shit. Minty. Oh, Dean fucking scores. Oh, Look at the door panels. This thing's crazy. And it, it smells it nice. It smells nice. It does. There's no mice. Yeah. Fuck. No mice. Hell. No rips. That's mine. Look at the windshield, man. Look at the windshield. No, this not one's a, not thing's a rock crazy, chip. man. No scratches it's on the big bumpers. Door. Holy shit. What are you so excited about? Oh, Uncle Al's <laughs> here. Oh, my God. Sweet. Nothing else matters. Nothing. Yeah, I think Dean really got a score on this ride. No, I really yeah, think it's amazing. Him. I don't know what he paid. I don't care what he paid. This is a nice looking car. Yeah. Well, we so had it cool. running in about 20 minutes. What a tiny little fucking bonnet, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. And wow. Everybody loves the way that it's hard to work. <laughs> you're going to hit your head on that. Like, oh, so yeah. close. Oh, yeah, it's Never built ever. for tearing your ear yeah. off or something. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> that out. Yeah, it's a vacuum pump. Oh, a little cool. filter on the bottom. Yeah. And that yeah. rides right on the camshaft. As a matter of fact, if you can take that line, one end or the other is finger tight. Pull that yeah, hose right. off and get that whole goddamn thing out of there. Because that's oh, all got to be replaced. I got to flip it around. That's kind of cool. That's that's cool. cool. The top that's half is vacuum for the wipers. Has Dean ever had a car this good? No. Like anything? He's never Nothing cool. Like ever? No, I mean even like the Civic that he had was probably in worse condition than this. Yeah. This is a really good car. Yeah, it's not bad at all, right? That's great. No. Nice. I was impressed. I did not expect this. Has he slept in it yet? No. Uh, just about. Does he love it so much? He hot loves box. it so much. I'm surprised. Yeah, we hotboxed hot box together. You did, you guys hotboxed. Hot box. First fucking big team meeting. What's up, fellas? Oh, you already got the hood off. Hood off. We're just going to put a little grease on these and slip them back in their hole. Oh, okay. Right on. 
Today, Miles and Dean are stripping down the front of the engine. Yeah, that's gonna be like, oh, go ahead. Oh, see, I dropped it in my hand. But Stephen actually completely uh, surprised me by ripping apart the whole steering wheel column for the teletouch system that he, he actually is learning about. And I'm just looking at shop manuals barely, and he's ripping into it. And look at well, just learning as we go. So right? let's get it's pretty happened. cool. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, you got the wheel off. Yeah, That's cool. and then I just put this back on so we can okay. kind of teletouch. Yeah, so we got okay. teletouch, yeah. teletouching, I guess. But what's actually going on in here is, if you just pull it out, oh, each one of these is just a contact point. Yeah, that's really shitty. You know and park is kind of like a uh, master reset. And so there's like a barrel inside that park operates. So if I put that, uh -huh. you can see in the in through here, there's a barrel inside there. So we're gonna go for drive select there. Yeah, just closes the points. Crazy. But it seems like you kind of it works best if you go from like park. Yeah. Like a use park as a reset between each gear. Interesting. You can go from drive to low though, and then back to drive quite nicely. But right. I find it's kind of neutral. Reverse. Neutral with sticking seems to be sticking sometimes. So, now yeah. it's it seems to be freer. Yeah. It'll, well, look at how dirty it all is. Yeah. Well, that's why we're in here. Yeah. This is all quite clean. <laughs> this yeah. is all looks well almost actually brand new. Yeah. Like somebody's replaced it. The wire looks good. Yeah. It's just dirty. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find this system. It's just grubby. And, and there's something... Is there not a I'm rotating really, contact here? Whoa, I just I don't assumed know. there was. Weird. We're finding out as we go. This is weird. Cool. Watch out for any spring... I have no odd. idea. Can I hold the light for you? Yeah. I kind of just started pulling on it, so... Keep I don't know buddy. what I... Really... Nice job, buddy. Wicked. It starts going... <laughs> Easter. <laughs> Holy oh, cow. My, this is insane. What the... What? Well, those are all uh, little oh. electrical contacts by the looks of it. They are too. Oh, Here, that's look. pretty cool. Wow, that's crazy. I, uh... This is cool now. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I don't it's really. Cool there's thing. our switch assembly. <laughs> but how does the switches contact the bottom side? Oh, uh, there's probably a whole bunch of just uh, little runners or brushes or something down there at the other end of the column. Right, yeah, because somewhere <laughs> there has to be a brush. <laughs> Oh yeah. It's weird the way the steering wheel came off and everything though. Yeah. Like just a crazy. Well, it's because it's got to have this story. floating center hub. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it's so <laughs> cool. I really like it. What the heck? It's yeah. kind of like no, I. And this is where they spent the money on this car. And I think it's essential to the character of the car. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Edsel. And, and that's where the money a, went. And a different dash? Or was yeah. the yeah, dash for the sure. same? No, the no, dash different, completely different. Different dash. No, the rotating hub thing was Edsel, right? That was okay. Edsel only. Um, it's pretty fancy. Mm -hmm. It is pretty fancy, I'll give it that. This is the essential part of the Edsel to me. Right now, like, good. to me, if you disable that, yeah. it's just a Ford. Could I have the light? Yes. How, how uh, messy is it? Yeah, yeah it's it's cool. Cool. Is, it, is it very DS like? Does it remind you of do. French vehicles? Do you have to run separate relays for everything Canadian. that the button should be doing? Did you see the, like, look at this. I think I found the other half of that. Uh-huh. There's this, like, uh... Oh, there's, like, a is there like a quarter-inch wrench out there? Uh, yeah. Quiet on the set for a yeah. second. Teletalk. Teletalk. Here's a close-up of the teletouch uh, contacts that run against, uh, presumably, some brushes. There we go. So there's the slip rings. Get those right on. Real quick look at the teletouch. I had no idea this is how it floats inside there. So this is there. the steering wheel, where yeah. the steering wheel actually attaches. And there's the gear drive in there. And that's actually what drives this hub. Which stays stationary, which is the actual hub for That's the teletouch crazy. controls. So there's a ring gear on that. Yeah. yeah. What a cool thing. And it all just kind and of it just pops all in there. Using the powers of grade 7 math stays in exactly the same place. How cool is that? So, uh, yeah, we're uh, uh, learning about the brushes at the bottom there so that we can clean all the contacts. And uh, really, it just needs kind of a teletidy. Uh, and he just needs to be teletouched. Teletouched. The light teletouching. Yeah. All right. Join us next time when it's broken in a million pieces on the floor and the car is stuck in reverse.
No, that I happen. scared the hell. Of, it scares the hell of me. I'm Stevens just on That's it. That's why I'm Stevens like, oh. on it. That's why Stevens' job is teletouch tech. <laughs> <laughs> teletech. 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 <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Hey, you were the man for the job. The mental owner can be confident that Stephen has many seconds of training on top. Oh, I am confident, <laughs> yes. Stephen. There we go. Too so, bizarre tore the front off the old motor here. Yeah, we old dropped F the fan. Yeah, we took the, the, yeah, we took the time, time to up. slide in the cam with a little chop. Oh, yeah. hey. No. <laughs> no, I am too old for that. Dean, Come on, Dean. A little bit of the choppity Big chop. Tires. Hey. It's got dual, exhaust. dual exhaust with some nice shocks. And uh, no, this is stock real. Three horsepower engine. That's all I need. We don't need to go crazy. But maybe a little choppy chop, I guess. Eh? No high speed runs. Should we the... put a cam in it yeah, and it'll do aluminum intake? Oh, <laughs> we don't need it to be fast, though. No, we certainly don't. No, yeah, just I don't, I don't like, like drive fast. I don't even like driving fast. No, you, you, if you had the chop, it would just be the fouled up plugs cam. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe a couple wraps, eh? I mean, it's not terrible. Honestly, it looks worse than it is, but a few degrees is a few degrees. Yeah. It's a so since we're here, uh, you'd be silly not to, right? The old, you'd be yeah. silly not to. Well, if we can find a timing chain, then then we'll do it. If we can That's find right one. right there. Yeah. Oh, you mean a new one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We need it maybe, but it's hard to find them maybe, so who knows. Hard I don't know, we failed we'll the first try. What is the first it? round was yeah, a fail. Yeah. Yeah. They don't well, I wouldn't terrible. be worried about the gears if we can find a chain. The chain's yeah. not even awful, but it's, it's yeah. you know, it's had some time. Well, you're in. We're sitting here doing whatever, right? Like, also, we got to get this weird custom battery shape. Yeah. Yes. Don't look at me. The battery, yeah. this is original to the car, so there will be a number on it. Motorcycle. Somebody make it. Not all batteries are the same. They they make that still. Oh, they also took the hood off, or Miles did, because he was so sick of bashing his head. Okay, who puts a hood on backwards? I know. Honestly, I think that was a factory defect. They said they had, they had a lot of problems with these. And I took off the trailer lights today, and these bubbles got to go. Yeah, yeah. Get in and there. then we're yeah they were, um, well I'm afraid to. Maybe look, we can put I'm them scared. on the SM. Actually, well, we might. the brakes. <laughs> yeah. Brakes. Time. Brakes getting yeah. done here. I'm ripping apart the back one here and getting ready to clean everything up. Dean has pulled all the extra communications gear off and the uh, the seven pin fastener out of the back. That's a bit what we would call harsh, but we'll, we'll make it go away. We'll do some magic thing there. We're doing hoses. You got oh, we're ripping in. It's turning away on the back Steven's side. Steven's found for you. something that's just irritating enough to want to try it, but not too irritating. That's going to pay off the steering column. Maybe the, 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 the teletouch got you going, eh? Look at these. You <laughs> have to get <laughs> inside there. Oh, yeah. No, and the screws yeah. are on an angle like this. That's a Dean job. Inside that fucking yeah. fender. Okay. That's well. for you, buddy. You get in there. Yeah. You can go in there. Actually, that would be yeah. a great yeah. job. Maybe fender. Because, you know, Dean has surprised me before with his. He's pretty uh, dexterous um, once he gets his mind to it. Are you going to tackle it now? Yeah, yeah real it yoga is shit. You said you got new hoses up for right? Yeah. You have all oh, the radiator hoses. These, on. these are... Noah put these on. Noah's are? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, like when was the last time you saw this coiled wrapping on yeah, your no, hose, is that, right? Is that deer skin? I think this looks like, <laughs> like canvas. Base, yeah. <laughs> canvas. <laughs> when you wrap it tight enough, base. it stops leaking. Canvas and pine tar wrapped around. A willow brand. <laughs> is that working? Oh yeah. Fuck. Oh yeah, sure it is. That'll be a bitch. It's kind of like a heavy fuel light almost. Yeah. It is very heavy duty. It's probably original. Uh, that's it for Edsel for this week. Pretty happy with the progress. Another uh, wheel ready to go back together here. Really hauling. Let's see how Team Captain Dean feels about it. Look at the Team Captain there. Let me zoom in. Yeah. The team captain who was yelling at those guys all day to get stuck yeah, on. Yeah, like, you guys, hurry up. <laughs> get no. to work. No, no. I just realized there's a lot more to do on the Edsel than expected. We got a good guy. We got, we, everyone's positive. No one's, no one's hating their life. We're all fine. All right, well, maybe I'm hating my life a little. but <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm loving life. It's a great car. I love it. Every time I'm in, I'm in the presence of it. But um, big steps today. As a hood had to come off. So yeah, that's off, you know breaks off water pump. There's a lot of, yeah, and then the heater co I had a fight with those heater hoses. Yeah, heater hoses off. Those I did just so those delicate. Are it's uh, but you got it. You know it's, it's fine. There's so much crud.
It's dirty. It's the crude the crud. Dirty. Yeah, it's cruddy. It's, it's going to take many hours just cleaning the bottom of the car, but it's going to be worth it. My hair is so, so nice. gross right now. Like It's like, what hair? <laughs> my hair is so gross right now. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my god, Kyle. Look at that, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> T roofs. It's filthy, though. Yeah. It's in really good shape. It is. It's almost like unbelievably good. These were, did you work uh, at the Dodge dealer in 1980? What year is it, Kyle? 79. 79? Yeah. It's kind of got like nope. a Monte Carlo nope. vibe. 77 is it? when I worked there. Oh, yeah? I bought that Chrysler and quit. You put brand new <laughs> on Was it the Chrysler yeah. that made you quit? <laughs> no. Uh, Henry Herber and me both quit. We both started the same day there and we both quit the same day. No I kidding. Look at him today, a multi-millionaire. This uh, <laughs> this is just an unbelievable condition. For what is it now? Okay, it's Forty some here. years old. This thing. Yeah. I love Original this. I paint. Original paint. Eh? Original stickers. It was got, it a three eighteen car or three sixty? Three sixty. Oh, it's got yeah. the nice mail too, eh? Hey? Look at oh, that. Oh, remember all this? Yeah, it's got oh, the old all days, this. Eh? Yeah. Got the lean burn, yeah, make it run like shit ignition. I had that shit taken off. Oh yeah, you had lean burn on your yeah, Chrysler? Yeah. yeah. That doesn't even make sense. Oh, it was it make it ping or what? <laughs> oh, it pinged like a bastard. Oh yeah? Yeah. Gave and it it's still pinged after too, so. Yeah. This thing's original, buddy. Yeah. Right? These... And this, I remember all this. Like it's This just, would have been like a pretty posh car oh, totally. in the suburban neighborhood, you know? Like. Totally. Well, the lady I got it from said she went to go buy a big you got New Yorker <laughs> coupe. <laughs> yeah, I'm off. I mean, we're just we're just telling it the way it is, folks. It's the only honest TV show because it's not on TV. Would you like? Can we get a proper review of this car this week after you do the tires? Yeah. Then we can spend more than thirty seconds on it. Yeah. Fresh out of tarp. First sorry. post tarp drive today for Kyle. Well, that's cool. I mean, at least you have tarp worthy car. The, yeah. What's that like? Having tarp worthy cars. Yeah. Yeah, it's moderate. <laughs> This is Kyle's other car when he's not driving the Death Dealer. He's driving a 79 LeBaron T-Top car. That's why Kyle and I are friends, and that's why he's on Team Model T. Because it's T for T-Tops. T for T-Tops. <laughs> Tops out, tits out. Yeah. <laughs>
Look at this, you can see it's got in there. There's Tom's place. Everybody wave to Tom. He's like closing the drapes, eh? I wish the horn was louder. It's <laughs> <laughs> just obnoxious. How many miles on it? This yeah. one's got 93,735 kilometers on it. So that's about 65,000 miles. Roughly, for yeah. our American yeah. viewers. So I'm sure there's one. Oh, there might be. The headliner fell down on the way over. Oh, well, we'll fix that when we get back. Well, it happened to someone else, too, because it looks like they just used oh, spray glue. Okay. Look at the glasses cherry on it, though. Yeah, one chip. Oh, yeah, it's nothing. But look at the dash, even. Just absolutely. This must have been kept in a garage. Nope, trailer. And when wintertime came, the oh. the lady parked it in a semi-trailer on their property. Kyle kind of stole this car in case you guys didn't figure that out. I saved it. It was yeah. destined for crush. The previous owner, what, uh, inherited it from their grandmother and yep. they didn't, Did it wouldn't start. It. I don't know, they didn't like it or it had a dead battery and they were going to have it hauled off. Kidney car was going to take it. Yeah, so Kyle uh, rescued it. It really, when we look at this, like... Is there a better vehicle to park beside a death dealer van? No. I, I can't no. I can't think of one. Man, you got the death dealer and then you got the Avon lady cosmetics dealer kind of. <laughs> this would have been a That's realtor's a death car. Dealer too? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know it's a treat that it's a beautiful day finally and it's actually oh. I'm glad that the tops are out. I had it out yesterday too with the I took it to work. Man, you even wore the appropriate fucking white beater for this. You like that? I picked yeah. it, hand picked it. I said, I'm going to Scott's. Yeah. I'm taking the T tops. <laughs> I better get the right shirt. Yeah, I was going to go topless because T's out, tits out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't see enough of that anymore, I guess. I'll do a quick walkthrough of the amenities. Oh, the clock opens. Oh no, it doesn't. The clock stays, and the glove box opens around. The time's not right. What time is it? We don't even know. It's tea time. It's tea time. <laughs> <laughs> what else would you do in this car? Go golfing, maybe? I have taken it golfing. Putt? Yeah, I it's took it golfing. It's more of a pitch and putt unit, yeah. Yeah. So you I'd, could I'd be... take it, uh, hmm, garage sales? Yeah, garage sales. Good car for garage sales. Good car sale. for garage sales. Yeah. Older ladies really like this car. Oh, good car for Cruz and the Cougars. The women formerly known as Cougars. Thank you. <laughs> Oops, beauty. We almost lost it again. We'll just go up to 222. Done. And we'll do a quick unsupervised acceleration trial. In Mexico. What, do you remember the zero to 60 time on this when it was new? No. Did you memorize all the road test magazine? I didn't. What? I didn't. I know it came in at entry level Corvette money. Really? Yeah, it was yeah, a Yeah, these were over, expensive. It was a touch over eight grand. Was this was... another American sunroof conversion? Yes. They converted these and the Aspens, right? Yep. These things were shipped off of the line, right? Yep. To a different place. And the T-Top conversion was done uh, sublet. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a mildly interesting fact. And the other thing is, it's funny, if you ever take one of these apart, they weren't they weren't taking any fucking prisoners when they, they did this conversion. Rude. They are crude. Done with a hatchet. Ready? Zero to 60. And one 1,000, two 1,000. Oh, listen. Wow, it really goes. That's pretty good. Uh, it's only 80 60. here. Oh yeah. Oh, you wanted 60 kilometers an hour. <laughs> no, I just don't want you to get a ticket. You get it up to 100, we better slow back down. Can't catch a hot rod like this. Yeah. <laughs> Guy going that fast, he ain't got time for a ticket. This is what it's for. It's actually a little better than a convertible for this part of the world because at least you can have the T-top sell three times a year and the convertible is only usable about once a year. I had the T-tops out in this car and the other one in the winter time. Yeah, well that's because you're insane. I think it was production on the medallion with T-tops is right around 860. Okay, that's more than I thought. 860. Well, the base model car is low, low, low. Right. This is the top of the line. This is the Yeah, top does it have line. air? Yep. Wow. And it works. Here. Bullshit. Feel. Oh my god. Well, there's impressive. something really decadent about air. Air with the T-tops out is really true decadence. It really defines the nature of this car. It gets cold too. The Damn cruise it. was working up until I parked it last year. 
Thanks so much, Kyle, for showing us your 79 LeBaron, buddy. Anytime. I love this thing. And it's original, original. Our favorite kind of cars. Cheers. Okay, let's push around my junk now. Yeah? Hey, YouTubers. Hound here. <laughs> Today we're gonna teach you how to wind your master to get a potato for lunch. Oh, it's Lucy. Okay, good. We're focused on it. Okay, we'll take this line off here and uh, yeah, see how much juice comes out. Nice, nothing. But tweak your back a hair. And I guess this guy is the next one. A little vacuum line. And uh, I think four bolts. And I think the whole works has to come out. From these sweet little schematics here. The bolts to get the master cylinder off, or for whatever reason, enclosed in the whole workings of the system. But this shows pretty good here what a treadle actually is. Apart from completely cutting this one away, you can kind of see in the picture. Your fluid lives in here. There's like a little valve that sucks in there. Instead of like a whole plunger going in there, there's just a rod that displaces fluid. That's kind of nice. There's two seals. The main one leaks, it just, the fluid goes back through this nice little dipper tube back into the top. So, kind of a pretty good invention, I think. Or maybe not, because they don't use them anymore. And then I'm hoping the vacuum stuff, it seemed to work. When I drove the car around, it was just really sticky. So, hoping I just clean it all up and uh, not have to get a rebuild kit. Nice. One. Oh, it needs a smaller screwdriver. A precision unit. This one. Tactical screwdriver. Oh man, this hole is really out of the It's back when Jesus was a cowboy. Sweet. Just four simple 5 16 bolts away from it. Oh. Unless you have to go under the dash, too. I should read this. Oh, removal and assembly. Here we go. Working inside the car under instrument panel. Remove instrument panel trim cover. I gotta go inside the car under the dash. Maybe the next strength. And Team Continental. Yeah, right. Okay, today we're gonna pull off the treadle back and treadle. Treadle. <laughs> See what its deal is. Why it's so sticky. All right, we hit pay dirt here. Somebody else has been in here, and they took this cover off, thus saving me having to take the cover off. And the car, being so well designed, has this sweet little access hole. So now I can just take that bolt out. That master cylinder is just, was nearly out. Well, it looks like it has a new rubber on it. Maybe it was freshly rebuilt and it's just, it's too good. Yeah. Okay, this crusty fellow is what we're going after here. Pretty grimy. Hoping I could have just pulled the front part off, but uh, I had to pull the whole kit and caboodle. Hopefully figure out why it's uh, sticking. Hopefully it doesn't need any parts apart from just cleaning off these barnacles from it and I don't know, maybe making a new gasket for it or you know, put a new copper washer in. Very minimalistic stuff. You know the why, the who, how? We don't know how. 
<laughs> but uh, that's what we'll soon find out. Where we know. Oh yeah, there's all the workings right there. It's a beautiful cutaway of the whole system. Let's see if we can get this bolt extracted here. Oh, nice. That was a pretty small bolt. Oh, look at that. The pedal's on some sort of linkage here. Nice. Just fine thread. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. So it's out. We appear to have lost our one captive nut. Kind of see the inside of the car through the hole. I'm hoping I can recaptivate it or just put a regular nut on it. Okay, we've got the unit in question on the bench here. Some spray. Uh oh, this thing's got stage fright. It wasn't off. Spray. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you should probably read. Just like, do not use an aluminum or something. What do you use it on? Hard to remove soils, grimes, oh yeah, garbage bins, refrigerators, toilets, patio furniture, motors. Oh yeah, this is pretty close. Alright, we're gonna have a good used rag here. Here we go. Get after it. Look at that, that looks like a good used booster now. Let's see how it deals with this gunk here. Poorly. But it does take the polish off. Well, what's going on here? Black silicone rubber. Somebody has been in here. Okay. Wonder if there's any fluid. I haven't any fluid leaking out of this thing yet. Take a peek here. Oh, there's next to no fluid in it. Good. Well, that uh, helps. Looks quite clean in there, though. Let's take a look. Yeah, it looks like a new master. Apart from the uh, debris in there. But, hey, you could live in that. Let's dump it into this little pie pan here. Uh, don't have to worry about ourselves getting covered in brake fluid now. Which I think is uh, probably one of my least favorite fluids. With antifreeze and old gear oil. Yeah, the old heim joint feels pretty good. Her boots, nice and supple. And then, yeah, as we saw in the old manual, frick, you gotta work your way from the tail to the head here. So I think we uh, just move this rubber, peel her back a bit. Oh, this was loose. So maybe this was a good thing we're getting after it. And remove boot, felt, boot washer from push rod. Try the crimps loose and remove the end plate. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hardly even crimped. Small taps might just. Oh, yeah, that's starting to sound horrible. Let's see. Oh, oh. Oh man, that was pushed right out. Hardly anything biting in there. Freaking people, eh? They get after these things and just cause trouble. Drift in here. Oh. The old gasket's trying to split the gap here. Let's see here, get it to go one way or the other. Oh, yeah. Oh no, the gasket did get a bit compromised. Oh, it seems like it was poor before. 
Get evidence of the wetness. Oh no! I was raving about how good this thing was, but uh, you can see it's got a bunch of brake scum in it. But a new piece of hose. So, so we'll probably have to order a kit. Somebody freaking zip tied that on. This thing's definitely been restored at some point. It's got, uh, it has been pitted, but it's clean metal now, so it's been sandblasted. Let's see here. The scum comes off, not too bad. Oh yeah, we caught it just in time. Maybe, but that explains why it was so sticky. And, uh, well, it's good I didn't just run it. So, let's see what we're up against next here. Remove the air cleaner. This guy here. Oh, look at that. Weird freaking human hair or something. I don't know what. These little rubbers on it though. Quite a well built piece. So, take off uh, these hoses. The hose is off. It's also been contaminated, it looks. Oh, then you take the whole freaking works out. So, this little guy out of here. Yeah, a little gasket there. Perfect. My part tile. So then, oh man, I polished that thing or something. Oh, look at the old leather seal might be compromised. Might be buying the kit after all. There's the problem right there. Oh man. I guess it's, ooh. It smells like a homemade liquor or something. Gross. But, uh, okay. That's probably where all the stuff from the reservoir must have went. Betcha. Maybe I'll dump that there. Yeah, oh man. I I got a crummier rag for that stuff. Oh yeah, here I threw these rags out like an idiot. They still have a purpose to serve here. Oh wow, that's gross. Okay. Okay, so. Not a real expert on these, but suspect the seal somewhere has failed. Or somebody's uh, driven this thing into a vat of brake fluid and it sucked it through the air intake, but uh, I don't think so. Okay, this must be the spring they're talking about. Oh, we're in the home stretch now. Oh, yeah. Small C-clip in there. This is the spring. I suspect this big disc is the washer. A weird ghost or something. Oh man, imagine at the factory they had a tool process for this. Any way to kind of make it more bearable. Oh, there we go. He's got a no. Holy cat. Oh, there we go. Aha! Rings off. Look at the size of that spring. It's huge. Okay. Clip. Question. Now, we get it what we were after the whole time. There we go, these three freaking bolts.
we go. Three rows. So that it'll I'm sure it'll become serviceable again. It's not like there's holes in it or anything, just a lot of a lot of gunk. But uh, I can get at my three three bolts now. But that was probably those fine fine guys at Ford, they did it like this so that uh, you know, if it did leak, you had to remove the master cylinder. You're forced to take a look and actually see it. Instead of just bolting on a new master cylinder, you know, things full of goop and you just Ah. Oh, those are must have just been torqued just right. Oh yeah, the reservoir. Has its own parts holding bowl. Oh, nice. Alright. Dump those out. And the old parts pile. Oh yeah, other gaskets failed. Well, I'll probably just get get a kit, I guess. And what's this? Somebody double stacked gaskets in here. Oh man, plot thickens with this thing. You can get into this thing here. We'll do, oh yeah, the infinite. Oh. Really shot out of there. So it's not all bad. Some seal left in there. Oh wow. Could be that again if we tried. That's a triple stacker. Oh wow. That's a really pretty good way to keep them all together. Freaking right into everything else. Alright. We'll get into the guts over here now. Oh yeah. Goopy, crummy looking. So, if we can get this rubber off here. We need more of a cork type deal. So it claims there's a snap ring in here. We we'll just have to dig out this washer. That's like a felt seal. That must be the uh, one just to keep debris out. Oh yeah, fluid leaking through here. Just what we all Well, and there you have it. Completely disassembled. No different than uh, like a rifle in the military or anything. So, that's good. I need to be cleaned up, blasted. That sludgy thing. So the leather is decent. Probably just get a new one. And this is probably our culprit here. See, so yeah, this is the only. The smart thing they did. Stainless shaft, mint shape. What's this a cup seal or something? Oh yeah, just just old and dried up. Well, there it is. All of its bits and pieces. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to order the kit for the uh, the seal and the leather thing, and yeah, you then you get all the other goodies and all that so no oh, so yeah I guess join us next time for the exciting uh, conclusion or part two to the uh, the big treadle vac uh, I don't even know what you'd call it both my helmets were just <laughs> they're both not very good <laughs> oh, what that says. Man, here's a helmet <laughs> use it use it up Spin by any time. Will do.
today team t team t <laughs> t tops for That's the t buddy team yes yes team t tops it was all meant to be there's a regular ah, same old shit Keep 